¡Bache! ¡Este es el bache! ¡Este es el trono! ¡Te guárvalo! ¡Quieto! 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 ¡Eric, stop him! ¡Quieto! 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 I gotta shave. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Oh, just one more try, please. I've gotta practice this. Well, look, what is it gonna take long? I have never had trouble with lights. You got a little slump. Why don't you try witching in the bedroom, huh? Okay. Sorry, honey. Mm -hmm. This coffee's cold. Well, it can't be. We we just had the coffee maker fixed. Yeah, well, they fix it to make cold coffee. Oh yeah, your grandmother had a a spell for um, ragweed, or was it poison ivy? I I can't remember. Anyway, look. Can't you help me? Can't you help me with the bugs in my garden? I mean, the, the white fly is attacking everything in the garden. At this rate, I'll be out of the herb business in a week. Could you? Oh. Oh, maybe the uh, maybe the garden shop would know. Uh, oh, oh, pot roast. You're gonna kill the bugs with the pot roast? What? <laughs> <laughs> She's just nervous. Tonight, we get to meet Bernie. Oh. Aww. Well, I do hope you like him. I mean, I, I, uh, I really am very nervous. But I, I haven't invited anybody home since your father died. And I, uh, I, I think you'll really like him. I mean, I, uh, what if you don't like him? Ellen. What? We'll like him. Even if we hate him. Really? What is this? Oh, that looks like Mrs. Henderson, my seventh grade math teacher. <sighs> That's great. Oh, this morning so far we had popping light bulbs and uh, bugs in the garden and now a close call with electrocution. I need a rest. I am going to work. Bye. Bye. Bye, Ellen. Bye. Uh, could I borrow your pencil? Sure, Mom. Thanks. Good morning, Marcia. What's new? These bills. Oh, no, no. Please, later, huh? Is someone in your office? Is it a client? It's hard to tell. Good morning. May I help you? Men came to steal the pass from us. Kill young boy. Take him from Earth, what's been sleeping for ten lifetimes. Wait a minute, I'm just a little bit lost here. You are the one uh, who finds things? Who finds things? Oh, yes, I'm a detective. I, I'm, I'm Rick Tucker, and you are... Curandero. Mr. Curandero. No. No? 
No, curandero is exorcista, is priest. It's a priest. Okay, got it. Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza, that's your name. No, Chichen Itza, Yucatan. Oh, Chichen Itza is in the Yucatan. Si, Belen. What, what's Belen? My name. Ah, oh, finally. They steal death mask of Toltec. Big, big curse. You bring back? Wait a minute. Who stole the Toltec death mask? This man from Hodgson Museum. The archaeologos. Archaeologists? Well, I'm not so sure that we are the people that you want. Um, how did you find us? Ah, uh, the yellow pages. Hi, honey. Hi. You go to Museum of Hudson. Um, Amanda, this... Take the case. Amanda? Uh, could you excuse us? Just a moment. Please. You don't know what this case is about. Rick! I feel it in my bones. This one is a must. Honey, look, he wants us to find something called the Toltec Death Mask. Oh, it's got a curse on it. I mean, it's crazy. It's wacky. We're not going to make a dime on this. Rick, please trust me. This is going to be one of our most fascinating cases, and it's going to please us financially. I got $10 as you're seeing things. Oh, you're on. <laughs> He's gone. Craig. What's this? What was the name of that museum? Museum of Hudson. <sighs> Hello? We're looking for the chief archaeologist. You mean Dr. Harris? Right. Where do we find him? Just down the hall. Oh, uh, you're going to have to check your piece. Private detective, right? Right. That means you carry a piece. You're a sharp guy, Stanley. Yeah. Nothing much gets by me, including you. Of course I've heard of the Kotet death mask. I've also heard of the uh, Golden Fleece, Santa Claus, and the Easter Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> it's all make-believe, fairy tales. It's not archaeology. Honey, you heard enough? Mr. Harris, this man also said that the men who stole the mask murdered an Indian boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, we heard it was a brawl. Too much pulque. Ah, that's their local firewater. Were these two men on the dig? Yes, they're my assistants. Jim Haskell, Eric Green. Hi. Hi. Looks like fun. <laughs> kind of like a puzzle, huh? A little more painstaking than a puzzle, Mr. Tucker. Tucker. But this piece goes right here. I'm good at puzzles. How about you? Know anything about the Indian boy? Me? What would I know? Amanda, how about lunch? Look, we were there, digging in pre-Columbian ceremonial grounds. Now, sometimes the local population gets a little upset. Well, who can blame them? Very true. But sometimes their imagination gets the best of them. And a simple pre-Columbian stone statue like this becomes a Toltec death mask. Look, I got a game at the racket club. I'll work on this at home. Oh, please don't take this home. <laughs> Why not? Uh, well, it's probably very valuable. Somebody could steal it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's not valuable. Have a good game, Jim. I'll check in later. Uh, we're leaving too. Honey, I am starving. Uh, sorry to bother you. No problem. Great restaurant. Bye. 
relax. Just relax. I was embarrassed. You were absolutely spooky. Bologna and cheese for me, avocado and sprouts for you. I wanted to make them nervous. You made me nervous. What was all that about the stone statue? Oh, Rick, it gave off incredibly negative energy. It gave me a, an awful feeling. Another feeling. What is this? Avocado and sprouts on a bagel? Yeah, I had a feeling that you might like it. I'll take it back. No, I, I can bend. Look, here we are, two professionals. Not bad. Thanks. Practically accusing a, a perfectly legitimate archaeologist of murder, of stealing a mask that may or may not exist, and all for a non-paying client who disappeared. Did you hear him come up? Senor Berlin, we, we've been looking into this. You must not stop. Evil grows. See, we sort of need something concrete. The curse. People will die. The curse, yes. What, yes, what? The magic belongs with my people. It is ours. Nobody should steal other people's magic. Well, you two or three just let me know, huh? Spanish doubloons. Rick, these date back to the 16th century. They're pure gold. Oh, Senor Berlin, we don't have to... Why did I even bother looking around? I knew he wouldn't be there. Okay, well, we got paid. Now what? Well, first you pay me the 10 bucks, show me. Then we just relax and eat our lunch. Relax? Do nothing? Mm-hmm. Something will happen. Trust me. Good afternoon, Stanley. Miss Price. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. We know who you are. No, no. Rules are rules. Well, Dr. Harris is expecting you. Oh. Thank you, Stanley. You're very good. It only took you three digs to find it. But now you're not going to give the mask to me, are you? That's right, Jessica. You want more money? Two million dollars. <laughs> Agreed. It's wonderful, both yours and mine. Deposit it in my Swiss account, then you get the mask. Ah, so sad to be an obsessive. Gives people such power over you. Mm. <clears throat> well, I must have the mask, so two million it is. But you're going to have to give me a few days. Buying stolen artifacts is a little tricky from an accounting point of view. Oh, I'm sure you'll manage. <laughs> hmm? How soon am I going to see the mask? As soon as the money's in my account. Not only can you see it, it'll be in your hot little hands. La, 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 la. Ooh, oh, lentils smell delicious. Only the best for you and Bernie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mom! What? Look what I found. What? Oh, Mother's Amber brooch. Right, for good luck. Oh, here. How do I look? Mom, you look so beautiful. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Oh. No, something's wrong with my hair. My hair's not right. Well, I don't think I should really wear this brooch with these pearls. Do you and the dress? Do you think the dress is wrong? The dress Ellen, is wrong. Ellen, what? Ellen, you look terrific. Scratch terrific. You look sensational. You really think so? I know so. Look, let me be honest with you. I mean, I liked Amanda right from the start. But when I saw you, that clenched the deal. I said, this kid has got great genes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're abnormally silly today. <laughs> I'll tell you why. I took the afternoon off. I put myself entirely in your daughter's hands. She said, wait for something to happen. I'm still waiting. <laughs> Something's happening. What? 
Rick, we've got to get over to Jim Haskell's house right away. Look, Amanda, I know these hunches work sometimes, but can't it wait till after dinner? No, this one is really awful. Please believe me. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. Well, it's all right, dear. It's all right. What about Bernie? Well, I, I know that look. Her grandmother used to get that look right before a disaster. Was she always right? Oh, 50-50. Oh, Bye. Bye. <sighs> the mask is safe. Oh, good. I was there. I heard. What? What, what are you talking about? <sighs> Two million dollars in your Swiss bank account. Oh, it, hey, don't get excited. I was going to raise your share. I was going to raise it to $250,000 each. Try half. Hey, come on, Jim, be reasonable. I'm the one who spent years poring over documents and maps. I'm the one who determined where the mask was. Now, a, a million is completely out of the question. I'm not Eric. I'm not one of your robots. You know, he's coming over now. And when he finds out about price, he could turn on you. And that could get pretty gamey. Think about it. I got some soup on the stove. You, uh, care to join me? Sure, why not? and entering. This is breaking and entering. Mostly breaking. Rick, there's something really bad right here. So you get it here. Let's check it out. Rick. 
Rick. There's blood on it. I was right. Dead right. Okay, fellas, let's wrap it up here. Toltec death mask, huh? You figure that's why this Haskell guy was murdered? Definitely. Um, we figured that they kept the mask in this case here. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, no one has really seen the mask. No one has really seen the mask? Uh, see, the old Indian priest has, and he hired us, and uh, he gave us a drawing on parchment, and we've, we've sort of been going on that. Uh-huh. He's paying us in these real rare old uh, Spanish doubloons. Ah. Things a little slow for you people? Well, let's see what we got here. Cut it out. You already told me about the soup. Ah, too much salt. Um, you see, we figure that uh, he, he, he was sitting over here, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, was he's having a bowl of soup, or um, he, he's planning to have a bowl of soup, and um, what the doorbell rings. So he, he gets up, and, and he goes to the door, and, um, oh, that's it. What's it? You didn't say anything. He's too young to be senile. <clears throat> to see Jim. I saw it through the window. They called the police. Trying to make it out like it's a robbery murder. They're trying to pin it on us. See, they found the mask. They want to keep it for themselves. We've got to get the mask. Then we got to get rid of them. Yes. feel terrible about this. Well, will you two please stop? There's no reason to feel so bad about it. Anyway, work comes first. Besides, Bernie and I had a perfectly lovely time all by ourselves, and so there's no harm done. Mother, you know you don't mean that. Well, of course I do. You can always meet Bernie another time. Ellen, don't you ever get mad? Well, naturally. I'm only human. I don't remember ever seeing you mad. What's it look like? Oh, oh, very much like this. If I just read Dickens five minutes sooner, we could have saved Haskell. Amanda. Don't do that. Don't second guess yourself. No, no, Dickens, Dickens, not now. No, wait a minute. Dickens? Dickens, what is it? Oh, here's that cat in heat. Dickens? Oh, poor baby. Well, I'm sorry, pal, but I just don't know the family. Well, I 
still think that whoever killed Haskell stole the mask. Nope. Rick. The place was a mess. That means the killer searched it, found the case, took the mask. I mean, you saw the case was empty. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. It means the killer knew the mask was under the floor, found the case empty, then searched the apartment, and left without the mask. Well, how do you figure that? Well, he wouldn't take the mask and leave the case now, would he? Eric still isn't home. He hasn't been home all night. I called him at 2, then again at 4 this morning. I'm gonna go on over there. I wanna check out Harris. What about the key? Later. First, I wanna see how Harris is reacting to Jim's death. For if he but blench, I know my course. Oh, Shakespeare. But, um, um... It was on the tip of my tongue. I can't help it, Jessica. The museum is on to something. Now, I want that money deposited in my account by tomorrow. By all means. I will make the arrangements. Good. Good morning. Well, actually, it's a very sad morning. Jim Haskell was found murdered last night. I know. I know. I just heard it. That's really terrible. Do they have any idea who did it? No. Senseless murders happen in Los Angeles almost every day, Mrs. Tucker. The uh, police suspect he was a victim of a robbery. Well, I was just wondering if perhaps you changed your mind. About what? About it having something to do with the Toltec death mask. Ah. Perhaps so, Mrs. Tucker. Perhaps the tribe of vengeful Chichen Itza and Indians encircled Jim's bungalow, murdered him, and then made away with a mask. Hmm? Hmm. Or perhaps one man did it all. Hmm. It's been a very rough morning, Mrs. Tucker, so if you don't mind. Certainly. I understand. I just stopped by to offer my condolences. Thank you. You're very kind. Dr. Harris, the chemicals. Ah! That was close. Yes, it was. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. Boy, I sure do appreciate this, Mrs. Crindler. You know, Eric would have come himself, except he got so snockered last night that he, he couldn't even get out of bed. What do I do? I come all the way over here. I forget the keys. There. Let's see. Something to carry his clothes in. No, maybe I don't. This sweater and shirt don't go together. Oh, you're so right. Mrs. Crinder, could you help me? Could you pick a, a shirt and a sweater that uh, color coordinate? Would you? That would be so helpful. Eric wanted me to get him some records. He doesn't have any records. Veracruz, Guadalajara, and the Yucatan. And we know that Eric was in all three places, but the question is why? Check the library, Marcia. See if there were any expeditions down there that correspond with the dates on these postcards, okay? Seems like I do all my sightseeing in libraries. Oh, start with the back issues of Archaeology Digest, the sections on current expeditions. We want to know who was behind the expeditions and what they were looking for. Be a detective. See the world. Thanks. Price. 
Two million. Two million dollars. Who would pay two million dollars for a stolen Toltec artifact? Take it from an ex-archaeology major. Nobody. It could never be shown. And this... It was stolen to sell to somebody else. Remember you told me about a guy once who lived in Chicago? Oh, yeah. That guy who bought hot paintings and kept them in a hidden room? He didn't care if they were stolen or not. He just wanted to keep them to look at for his own private pleasure. Right. Now, if that's what we've got here, then for whoever the buyer is... Price is no object. I want the mask. I, I don't have... No. You killed Jim. I trusted you. I followed you. The mask will blow you away. Okay, okay. It's over there. Here it is. I found it. Boy, do I have great stuff. Shrimp in black bean sauce, pan-fried noodles, and Szechuan chicken. What's up? Tell her. In May 1979, there was an expedition to the Pyramid Burial Grounds near Veracruz. In March 1981, there was one to the Mayan Caves near Guadalajara. And two weeks ago, to the pre-Columbian Ceremonial Grounds in Chichen Itza. All headed by Wayne Harris and all financed by one person. <sighs> Jessica Price. Price? Two million dollars? You know her? She outbid the Met for the Nigerian bronzes, overpaid a million dollars. Then she bought out the entire brick collection of 9th century Siamese stonecut Buddha figures, overpaid millions. And now it appears that Miss Price is buying the Toltec death mask. Or does she already have it? Let's ask her. This is horrible. Well, aren't they supposed to be scary? Oh, no. I mean, all these marvelous masks and totems and gods. What are they doing in a Pasadena mansion? <sighs> people have no right to steal other people's magic. Well, don't look at me. I don't even do card tricks. Like this voodoo mask. I mean, doesn't it make you stop and wonder how anyone could have the good sense and artistic foresight to uh, understand the importance and influence of primitive culture. Bravo! A kindred spirit, I see. Indeed. I do adore the primitive. It's so mysterious, so magical. And I believe in magic. Do you? Only when it works. What a curious answer. Please. Thank you. Now, my secretary said you phoned and gave her three names, Veracruz, Guadalajara, and Chitsun Itza, which caused me to postpone a board meeting. You obviously know which buttons to push. It's just that Mrs. Tucker and I have been long-time admirers of your ability to collect these incredible artifacts. We've followed all your quests. The latest being your three digs in Mexico. You might say that we're Jessica Price groupies. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we just get on with it? Sure. See, I located a fella, Jim Haskell. You know him? Just go on. You must know him. He works for a guy named Harris. Dr. Wayne Harris. Does that ring a bell? Maybe it'll come to you later. Anyway, Jim and I made a deal. And I bought this mask. It's beautiful. It's magical. Mm. Anyway, poor Jim won't be able to enjoy his money. He turned up dead. You hear about that? Anyhow, the price of the Toltec death mask is now three million dollars. Now, why should I pay three million dollars for something I already own? <gasps> well, I guess there must be two of them, lady. Wait a moment. <laughs> you... 
You say you have the mask, and Wayne Harris says he has it. I really don't care who has it. I will buy the Toltec death mask from whoever brings it to me. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Now, look, Jessica, I'm telling you, it's not true. The Tuckers say they have it. Now, you're not getting a dime until I see that mask. Well, well, we know that Jessica Price doesn't have the mask. What about Harris? If he does, what's he waiting for? Why didn't he give it to Price already and get the money? Unless Harris doesn't have it either. What about Eric? Couldn't he be running some sort of a double cross? Maybe. Good. Let me ask around on the street and see if anybody's heard anything. Okay. And then I will meet you back at the museum. Why there? Well, you can bet Miss Price is going to tell Harris about our little visit. Maybe we can uh, force his hand. Good idea. I'm going to go check out that key at Luz. Now, it shouldn't take me long, so I'll probably beat you to the museum. Okay. It's a mailbox key. A mailbox key? Mm -hmm. Well, couldn't it be for a, a, a safe or, or, or maybe a storage room or a safe deposit box? No, just mailboxes. Thank you. Or a locker. A locker? Like a gym. Hiya, Stanley. Dr. Harris in? Nope. Harry Green didn't sign out last night, huh? What are you talking about? Did you see him leave? No. What's that got to do with you? He got by you, Stan. You don't mind if I hang around, do you? No. Well, hey. I'll take your boom boom. Private eye. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Uh, those clothes and things back there, who do they belong to? Uh, delinquents, members who haven't paid their dues. I knew that. Do you know uh, Jim Haskell? No. Uh, well, he's a member, and uh, I'm his cousin. Huh. And, uh, well, <laughs> he sent me down to take care of it. He's always been really terrible about these things. You know the type? <laughs> uh, thank you. 
Bye. Let's see, Haskell, $35. $35. Mm -hmm. May I see this? Sure. $35. Thank you very much. Sure. And uh, keep the change. isn't it? No, 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 Marcia hasn't heard from her either. I mean, going to a key place shouldn't take that long. Should I worry? Oh, no, you know Amanda, she's, she's probably picking up a new coffee maker. Right. <laughs> right, fine. Try that again, and I will blow your head off. Hey, Stanley, you know that Egyptian sun goddess out on the other side? Yeah. There's some guy in a leisure suit who's drawn a mustache on it. What? Look, I know we're not on the best of terms, but I don't want to get you in any trouble. Ooh, you know? I'm so sorry. Who we have here. Just came back to finish that puzzle. Take your time. Catch your breath. Oh, I'm fine. Now, I'm uh, very busy, so if. Uh... You know, I read somewhere that shortness of breath can be caused by tension, things like guilt, fear of being found out. I can assure you this was brought on by very heavy physical labor. See, I had this very heavy object I had to move, it was giving me a lot of trouble. The Toltec death mask shouldn't be that heavy. Oh, you are obsessed with that mask, aren't you? No, not me, no, but Miss Price is. Oh, yes, Jessica called me about you and your wife. Where is Mrs. Tucker, by the way? She's around. <laughs> so, you found me out. What are you going to do about it? Well, I would think the Hudson Museum would be very interested to find out that their chief archaeologist stole... Stole what? A mask that nobody knows even exists? A mask that no one but Jessica Price will ever see? Then you do have the mask. Get out. It meant nothing to you to steal what's sacred to other people? For two million dollars? Nothing at all. You killed Haskell. Prove it. Hmm? Prove it. And Eric. Stanley, will you come in here, please? Where is Eric? He signed in last night, but he never signed back out. Did you kill him too, Harris? And the Indian boy. Stanley, will you get this man out of here, please? All right, buddy. Let's get moving. Stanley, this man has stolen artifacts that rightfully belong to another country, and he is a murderer. Now, we have to search this place right now. Stanley, if you don't do what I say, I'll get you fired. Now think about it, Stanley. There's a recession out there. All right, let's move it, buddy. What's with the lights? Never mind the lights, just move it. Amanda! <laughs> Sorry, Stanley. I knew you were dead.
I don't believe I just did that. Amanda! Baby, where are you? Amanda? Honey, you in there? Amanda? Are you all right? Mm. Mm. The mask. You found the mask. That's beautiful. Oh. Here, it's gonna hurt. Mm. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, it's good to see you, kid. Hey. What? Forgot one. This is a nifty statue Senor Belen sent us. Yeah. What do you suppose it is? What do you think it is? Okay. This is the legendary Toltec love charm. Toltec love charm? Mm -hmm. For centuries, adventurers, soldiers of fortune, and museums from the four corners of the world have been trying to get their hands on this little baby. What does this little baby do? Ah. Whoever possesses the Toltec love charm mm -hmm. becomes instantly irresistible. Was I close? Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. what is it really? It's supposed to make your corn grow, <laughs> but I love your version better. Mm -hmm.